Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of Middle Earth. Ryan the Cyber Hobbit here. Hope you're having a very nice Thursday. Time for another prop replica unboxing. This is the crystal vial filled with water from Galadriel's fountain, which held the light of Elendil's star, the vial of Galadriel. I give you the light of Erendil, our most beloved star. May it be a light for you in dark places when all other lights go out. This is a one-to-one -one scale prop replica from Weta Workshop. This is a brand new open edition piece and it cost $119 on Weta's website. I actually pre-ordered this piece when it was first announced and have been very anxious to get it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here's a quick look at the text on the back of the box. And by the way, it lists the wrong battery to use on the box. But more about that in a minute. First, let's unbox it. Inside the box, you'll find an instruction booklet that does list the correct batteries. I kind of wish they could have corrected it on the box, but at least they did make it clear with instructions. Batteries are not included, so make sure you get three LR44 batteries. And first, let's start with the base. I believe the design is inspired from Galadriel's mirror or Galadriel's fountain. The secret letter is I. Looking a little closer, it has a very nice paint job. Definitely looks like a stone or type of granite. It has a very interesting tree or branch-like pattern that goes up the base. Here you can see the LED that is meant to shine up through the vial. Very subliminal. I like how there's sort of like a cut going along the middle of this part. Helps to give it some age. Here's a little closer look at the patterns on the top and the bottom. And on the very bottom, you can see where you put the batteries as well as the power switch. And now let's take a look at the vial itself. And right at this point is when I realized that I do not want to get any fingerprints on this. So glove time. This is definitely made of glass, and at first I thought it was a little bit small, but then obviously in the movies it's only ever held by hobbits, so I guess that's accurate. This top part here looks pretty good. Nice shiny silver. And obviously, if you haven't noticed yet, there is no liquid inside of it, so you will need to add something. I plan to use an isopropyl alcohol. Looks pretty good. And last but not least is the top of the vial. Another nice silver design. The bottom has a little rubber part that you will use to seal the liquid inside. The silver ring along the bottom looks a little bit crooked, but I guess that's okay. After putting the top on, it did seem a little bit loose. I would prefer it to be a little bit snug or a little bit harder to remove. It does look nice together though. As you can see from this, 
it does take a little effort to fall out, but you can do it. Knowing that this is going to have a liquid inside of it, it does make me a little cautious. Just have to be careful to always keep it straight up, I guess. And here it is sitting on the base. I did try to see if it was easy to have it fall over. It does jiggle a little, but it seems like it's pretty sturdy. Probably even more so once it has a heavy liquid inside. Since I don't have a funnel, I poured a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol into a paper bowl and then I used that bowl to bend into a tip which I then used to pour the liquid into the vial. I should have done this first, but now to put in the batteries. Again, you need three LR44 batteries. The LED is very nice and bright. As I'm editing this video, I've actually had the light on for about four hours now, and it's still going strong. And finally, here it is. Whoops. I think it looks great. Even with the lights on in this room, you can clearly see the light, and it shines all the way up through the vial. I really like how the light reflects onto the table because of the vial's shape. Even though I've been using gloves, I did notice that it seems to have some marks on it that I believe is possibly on the inside of the vial. I even used a microfiber cleaning cloth, but I couldn't seem to get rid of them. I definitely think it's on the inside. You can sort of see it here, and it wasn't really revealed until I had the light on with the liquid inside. Though I'm not really too worried about this, it's just a minor thing in my opinion. This thing looks even better with the lights off. So cool. Though this does seem to highlight those marks that I was talking about. Yeah, definitely on the inside of the glass. I'm not really sure how you could ever get rid of that. Still, this is a very impressive piece to me. I really dig those light reflections. Another minor thing I noticed was at the top where the silver is attached to the vial. There looks like you can see some type of maybe glue remnants. I'm thinking possibly the glue sort of spread, maybe after the top was put in place. When all other lights go out, it is a very bright light in dark places. I was a little bit worried with the size of the LED, thinking that it might not be too bright, but I think it lights up just perfectly. If you didn't know the LED was in the base, you might think the light was coming from the liquid itself. Kinda makes you want to go hunt a shelob. If only I wasn't terrified of house spiders. And I had to try. Aya, Elindia, Elena, and Kalima. So besides just a few minor things, I think this is a really great addition to my collection. It does look a little bit dirty, but hey, I doubt Frodo had it very clean when he was fighting Shelob. If you got one of these and you didn't have this problem, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to know. Also, I'm a little bit sad about the box having the incorrect instructions. But I can understand reprinting could be pretty costly. Hopefully they fix that for future releases. Remember the secret letter going forward. And look for more. 
If you're planning to get this piece or you have it pre-ordered, let me know in the comments. So I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Like always, I would really appreciate it if you guys liked this video, if you subscribed, or even just give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Until next time, bye bye.